Hey guys, Fat Man Tully, Mr. Tully as I'm known now. This is the holster that I'm working on for my um, Ruger Blackhawk 41 Magnum. And it's a less than desirable piece of leather. Uh, the inside, the outside's got some fat wrinkles and stuff. I'm trying to hide. <laughs> Dusty. You know, I did a, a basket weave print on it. Just tried to do a little tooling. I'm not by far very good at tooling, but you know, it looks okay. It'll look better when it's dyed. But if you look at this part, you can see just how rough that is. Now here, this, this portion I've taken and sanded. Now, like I said, this was not a great piece of leather, but this is a sample. It's my personal holster. You know, I'm not selling this one unless somebody offers me stupid money for it you know so I normally I wouldn't use this piece of leather for a customer I mean it's, it's just that ugly it's really rough on the inside this I mean you can hear that it should be more like you know so um, what I'm doing to smooth that out is I've dyed it and that'll raise the fibers a little bit. And then I'm just going over it with some 220 grit sandpaper. And I'm not press, not using a lot of pressure. I'm just kind of lightly sanding it. And it's not going to be perfect. And it's not intended to be. But it will be better. I mean, this turned out better than what it was. And when I re-dye it, um, I'll go through this process a couple more times. It is, it's a pain in the butt, but really it's worth it to be able to use a piece of leather like this, even if I'm only using it for one of my personal holsters. Um, you know, I'm going to be using this, this gun is going with me deer hunting this year, because I like to carry a sidearm. Um, my shotgun's got a scope on it, so, and we have to shotgun hunt here. Scopes are kind of useless when you get too close. If I've got a shot within 30 feet, my scope's not going to do me a whole lot of good. It's only two and a half power, so I can still use it. But I could at 30 feet, I can take it out with my my 41 Magnum just as well, and that's legal here. So, but I just thought I'd show you that you can go through and uh, you know kind of even all this up just with some sandpaper and uh, it's still not going to look perfect and it's not going to be perfect but you know for something that I'm using for myself you can take a less than desirable piece of leather and still make it pretty decent the front side wasn't too bad there's a couple of fat rolls right in here I don't know if you can, you can kind of see well they don't die quite right and uh, some of them, there's a really big roll here that you can actually feel. Some of them you can't feel. So, you know, I just thought I'd show you that you can, it's not throwaway leather. You can still use this for uh, whatever you want. Once the, I go through all this, it's good enough to send to a customer, you know, after the, I'm all done doing this. So it's just time consuming, but with the cost of leather, you know, this, this particular leather that I'm using is about 200 bucks a side. So, I want to make use of every little bit that I can. Um, and this is just a new design for me, and I want to try it on my own holster. So, just thought I'd do that real quick video. Um, stay safe, God bless, and, you know, use all your leather. Thanks for watching.